parenting comes with its share of occupational hazards. One of them is the cartoon series, Ogie and the Cockroaches, OATC, which my little kid loves to watch. Having grown up watching Tom and Jerry, this is perhaps the next most irritatingly hilarious cartoon show on TV these days. Given the current crop of cartoons full of violence, mythology, evil, and superpower wars that are so prevalent on TV and do more harm than good, I find these episodes more humorous and entertaining. The protagonist of the show is an ultra-domesticated, rotund, blue male cat called Ogie. He loves to spend his day dusting, cleaning, mopping, watching TV, growing his vegetable patch and live a peaceful life. Dwelling in his ventilator and pestering him endlessly are the three roaches of varied colors. Making his life a living hell are the three cockroaches, Marky, Joey and Dee Dee. Ogie seems to have a love-hate relationship with them. All the episodes of OATC deal with the three roaches troubling Ogie in different ways. And living, mostly, with Ogie as his gregarious cousin, an alpha male cat, called Jack. He loves Ogie but has his own interests in life. He is definitely not into spring cleaning and watering the plants, but comes to Ogie's rescues from the cockroaches. He usually ends up complicating the game as he is always building strange contraptions and concoctions to deal with the pestering cockroaches. And since he is short-tempered male, the cockroaches love to take him for a wild ride. And Ogie keeps fighting back, sometimes with the help of Jack. My favorite series is where Ogie starts to practice non-violence and goes about chanting mantras and tries to control himself while the cockroaches do their best to instigate him. Another hilarious character, though with very less screen space, is Augie's sister Monica. An athletic, forever skating, master of all sports and arts, Monica visits Ogie occasionally. Jack goes head over heels for her and takes up over many sport forms to impress her. Ogie is extremely fond of his sister and cannot stop bragging about her talents and skills. How familish! I would really love to see how the creative team behind OATC gets tighter to form a storyboard and discuss the nuances, scene by scene. I would love to see how they conjure up a story out of nothing and breathe life into these hilarious characters. There is hardly any spoken conversation and the show mostly relies on visual slapstick humor to keep going.